what's up what's up what's up welcome to another episode of music tips and reviews with jg uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh please press the subscribe button so you be updated on my latest content uh i listened to this album yesterday uh heading to the gym working out uh and this is a, a common album people don't really talk about uh a lot of people when they rate comments to albums uh they rate this last like you know this is not a a pretty good project for him but i heard it you know i heard it um and i'm gonna tell you my view on it as i go through the track list so uh leave your comments what you thought about this album uh universal mind control maybe what i say may influence you to uh give it a second listen so uh I love the I love the album cover, uh, Universal Mind Control. Uh, you know the the look of it, the image of it. It gives Common a more uh, less underground, uh, conscious vibe, uh, and I, I think that's why a lot of people uh, wasn't really interested in this album because <laughs> of the direction uh, he may have gone on this album. Uh, especially because of the single Universal Mind Control uh, people saw the video heard the song uh, of course you know when you when you think about the Neptunes uh, when people get a Neptune track they really want a track that really makes them mainstream uh, they sound you know the Neptunes they sound this very uh, mainstream very uh, universal I feel when I listen to a Neptune's track, uh, it's not pop, it's not R&B, it's not hip hop. It's just everything in a melting pot, melting pot uh, when you think about the Neptunes. And so, yeah, the Neptunes did most of this album. Uh, a few other, uh, it was another producer on this album as well, but the majority of the album was the Neptunes on this album. Uh, like I said, Universal Mind Control was a good song but it, it kind of set the tone for uh, what people will expect. You know, usually that first single uh, shows people what they, you know, is going to expect from, you know, the rest of the album. And uh, surely, you know, surely it fooled a lot of people, you know, when they heard the album uh, because Universal Mind Control really didn't sound like the rest of the album. You know, that was the most uh, different song on the album. You know, <laughs> it won't, it won't. It's kind of like when Usher album came out, Confessions, you know, Yeah was the, the leading song. But when you heard the album, the album didn't sound nothing like Yeah. You know, it won another uh, Yeah type song on the album. And so that was, you know, what that was to this album. Uh, interesting enough on the second song uh punk drunk love uh kanye is on the hook <laughs> which is which is I, I wonder if uh i was wondering if kanye and common was on good terms during this time because you know uh you know kanye produced most of b the b album which i feel is a little bit better than this album <laughs> and y'all can watch that review uh i had on that album a while back uh make my day was good uh produced by mr dj so mr dj was a, another good uh he was another good producer on this album uh he did a few tracks one or two tracks on this album uh i like that song i like that song of course CeeLo green always delivers uh really that that atl uh vibe you know with CeeLo green on it soulful vibe uh swing vibe uh on that song uh sex for sugar that club you know uh neptune's sound uh announcement had the biggie uh you know the biggie i i guess it sounded like a biggie tribute type uh vibe to it uh pharrell uh he spit on it too he was rapping on it uh i like this track announcement i th I, th I like the vibe how they commemorated biggie on this song uh gladiator i thought gladiator uh 
I thought Gladi Gladiator sounded uh, like an NERD type track, at, you know, with the, the live instruments. Uh, Changes, that's one of my other favorite songs on the album, produced by Mr. DJ. Uh, never heard, hardly heard a lot about Mr. DJ, but uh, I, I love that song as well. Uh, Inhale, produced by Neptune, is one of my other favorite songs. Love the chords, progressions on that song. Just just that classic uh, Neptune seven chords. And, you know, if you're into music theory, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, just just that vibe, just that, uh, you know, uh, Lupe Fiasco, you know, when they produced for Lupe Fiasco, kind of that vibe uh, to that song. Uh, what a World was pretty good and uh, everywhere. Uh, was it was a vibe as well so that was the album i think it was a pretty good album overall the only thing i would say is the sound of the album went everywhere you know you have hip-hop you had pop you had like r&b soulful vibes uh to the to the album i think that's really where the disconnect was on this album but each song was pretty good pretty pretty good he still had his conscious rap lyrics on this album which was kind of <laughs> uh you know strange <laughs> but uh i think overall it was a good experimentation for common to kind of go outside the box because we know you know common is a huge conscious rapper you know he taught he has very soulful songs and you know him being with pharrell you know is is kind of different uh the last song they did was come close you know with mary j blige uh common and common uh that was a good song but that was still kind of soulful vibe and i didn't really know neptunes did that song at first but uh yeah uh this album was pretty good it won't bad but as y'all know i i do my my rating uh i give it a a 7.5 out of 10 I think it's pretty good pretty good album uh just like i said the myth the disconnect as far as the direction of this album it wasn't really cohesive uh as far as the sound sonically because you know neptune they can go all over the place as well you know they can give you that nerd vibe and then they can give you that classic neptune's futuristic sound and so it, it was kind of all over the place so yeah i give it 7.5 out of 10 i thought it won't bad but i thought it won't really it won't his best work but i feel like it, it was a pretty good solid project uh a lot of people may disagree <laughs> a lot of people think this this album was garbage or whatever uh but i it, it's not as good as b i'll say that it's not as good as b the b album uh produced by kanye but uh yeah i give it 7.5 out of 10 uh leave your comments what you thought about this album as well uh, i love to hear your reaction as well uh to this uh review so appreciate y'all for tuning in and until next time all right peace